Hey tea heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, Lapsang Souchong Tea Giveaway. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you all about this tea. We're gonna be doing a tasting, and then we're gonna be doing a big giveaway. So stay tuned for that. If at any point in time you enjoy this video, then make sure you hit it with a like. And if you're not following us on all of our socials, go click that button. Lapsang Souchong is, according to the stories, the first black tea ever produced. It was originally produced in Tongmu village in Fujian in China. I've done a complete video all about the history of Lapsang Souchong. I'll put a link in the description below and if you're watching on YouTube a card will pop up here. But quick summary, in the 1600s this tea was created by accident. Leaves were allowed to over oxidize and so the producers decided to smoke the tea over horsetail pine wood, lightly smoke it to try to add and change the aroma profile. This took off the flavor profile, the aromas became very, very popular, and Tongmu village, where this was originally produced, became famous for this smoked tea that became Lapsang Souchong, a bastardization of Zhengshan Xiaozhong. Zhengshan is the area, Xiaozhong means small leaf. Right, skip ahead a few hundred years. In 2005, something like that, a government official asked for them to produce a tea which was unsmoked. And this became very, very popular and became Jin Jun Mei, one of the most expensive teas ever made. And since then, Tongmu area became renowned for unsmoked teas unsmoked black teas that commanded a very, very high price. And what happened was the the demand continued for the smoked teas and the demand also uh, seemed to move towards more heavily, heavily smoked teas to really give it a pungent aroma. And this type of production moved out of Tongmu and started to move to cheaper tea growing areas like Hubei. The quality therefore of smoked Lapsang Souchong over the past 10 to 15 years has, in my opinion, declined dramatically. So much so that we have not stocked any smoked Lapsang for a few years. Right, I said in the previous video that I did that it was very difficult to find Tongmu smoked Lapsang Souchong. Now, if you want to get really high quality smoked Zhengshan Xiaozhong, good luck. It's very, very <laughs> difficult to find. You can probably try to get some from Tongmu. This is original Tongmu smoked Lapsang Souchong. But it came to me as a little bit of an accident, a bit of a mistake. Let me tell you the story behind this. We have two Lapsang Souchongs that are unsmoked from Tongmu. One of them is called Little Tongmu, a very fruity black tea, and the other one is called Souchong Liquor, a very chocolatey black tea and both are very very popular with our clients. So I reordered 2018 spring pickings of Souchong liquor. Whenever tea arrives to Mayleaf I am there to greet it at the warehouse. I am always there to open the box, check the tea, give it a taste, make sure it meets the requirements and matches the sample that I have tasted. As soon as I opened this one here, this uh, pack, of this box of tea, I knew that something wasn't quite right because I got a distinct smoke aroma coming from the box. Immediately closed the box, contacted the producer and said, you've sent us the wrong tea. Sure enough, once they had done their checking, they had realized that they had by mistake sent their smoked tea instead of their Souchong liquor tea. So that's been resolved, all good, they sent me the Souchong liquor, it's available in stock. I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna pick that one up. But then they said to me, why don't you give this tea a try? Now, as I said, I'm used to trying smoked Lapsang Souchongs that are not high quality. But since I knew that this tea was from Tongmu, was from the same producers that produce our Tongmu Souchong liquor, I thought, hey, why not give it a go? And they added, we didn't smoke this one over horsetail pine wood. This is smoked over longan wood. Longan is a fruit very similar to lychee and the wood has a very nice fruity aroma. So I went back to the warehouse, opened up the tea and took out a sample and tasted this tea. And I have to say, it has bowled me over. This is original style, OG. Tongmu smoked Lapsang and I love it. The producer very kindly 
has said that I can keep this tea. I have to pay for it, obviously, but only once I've sold it and he gave me a small discount. So I thought, why don't I pass that discount forwards? And I have reserved 1.5 kilograms of this tea to give away to you lucky people out there. That's 30 winners who are each gonna receive 50 gram pack of tea, no matter where you are in the world, we will send it to you so that you can taste this good stuff. In order to enter, all you have to do is email us at I love tea at mayleaf.com. That's the address you need to send the email to. I love tea at mayleaf.com and put the subject as lapsang. You don't have to write anything into the body, just put the subject as lapsang and send it to I love tea at mayleaf.com. Please send your entries before the 14th of October. That's the cutoff point. So if you're watching this after the 14th of October 2018, then please do not write to us. We'll select 30 winners a couple of days later and we will pass on the benefits that come from this small mistake that the producer made to you guys out there. So what does this tea taste like? Well, get ready guys, because this one is a real win. I tasted this, as I said, a couple of days ago and it really blew me away. Let's go through the scope season. This is spring 2018, April 2018 to be exact. Cultivar, this is the Xingqun Xiao Zhong cultivar, the small tea leaf variety. Origin, this is from Tongmu in Fujian in China. Picking and processing is young leaves, and as I said, it's been smoked over longan wood. Nice, nice fruity wood smoke. Elevation about 1,500 meters. There you go. Take a look at those leaves. So nice, twisted, kind of vanilla pod, brown, black leaves. And they have a very, very distinct aroma. Let's warm up the guy one so that we can really, really experience this aroma. I'm outside today. I figured it's a nice sunny day here. It's getting a bit cool in London, but it's a nice sunny day. Oh, I was going to pour it on my roof, but no, I'll, I'll pour, it into, pour it into the fish tea boat. Okay, and let's give this a smell. Oh, honestly, this is just a world away, a universe away from the normal Lapsang Souchong that I smell. I've smelled a lot of Lapsang Souchong and mostly I get this very, very harsh, very, very acrid smell that comes from those resinous pine woods that are being uh, burnt and the very, very heavy smoke flavor. This is totally different. This has got tons and tons of fruit in it. I'm getting dried dates, dried figs, I'm getting some spice, a little bit of allspice, a little bit of camphor. I'm getting some milk chocolate coming through here. Very, very sweet, sweet fruits. So dates and figs, as I said, but dried fruits. Of course there's smoke there, of course there is, but the smoke is much lighter, much fruitier, much more comforting, like that really enjoyable smell of a, of a campfire, that kind of, uh, something that draws you in, wants you to go closer rather than harsh smoke up your nose. You know, there's something about the smell of smoke that's very atavistic. It's very much kind of linked to our ancestry. There's something about the smell of smoke that relates to campfires, relates to warmth, to protection, to light, to cooking. And when you get that nice wispy smell of sweet, sweet smoke, fruit smoke, oh, it's just, it, I don't know, it triggers something in like your ancestral memory or something, but it's just so, it draws you in so very much. All right, let's see what the smell of the wet leaf is. Oh, honestly, this tea really, really surprised me. If you guys out there like your Lapsang Souchongs, you need to try, and if you don't like your Lapsang Souchongs because you don't like the smoked flavor, I would suggest that you pick up some of this just to see what a proper Tongmu you know, this reminds me of 15 years ago, uh, the, 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 the smoked teas from about 15 years ago. And it's so nice to have this. So even though it was a mistake by this producer, I have to say, I'm very happy with this mistake. Oh, okay, so when you wet the leaf, you are getting a little bit more of a puff of smoke, but it's again sweet and fruity. 
What is that? I'm smelling longan. I'm smelling kind of apple skins. I'm smelling dried apple skins, dried pears, those kinds of um, more in the, the light sweet fruits rather than anything sour or like tangy or anything. It's very, very sweet, sweet, sweet fruit. So I'm getting dried pears, I'm getting apple skin, I'm getting um, burnt wood, but it's, it's, it's again, really a comforting smell. And there's just this general creamy sweetness to it as well, like a malted milkiness to it. What is that? Caramel. If you let it cool down a bit, just let the, the leaves cool down a bit. Ah, oh, yes, definitely. You're getting a little bit of, of a caramelized banana or mashed banana in there. Um, but it's smoky, smoked banana. Imagine if you took bananas and you put them on the, on the, the barbecue. You've definitely got some of those smoked bananas, but mashed up, very creamy, very, very sweet. We're brewing with 90 degree water here. Very important with these small leaves. Keep it cool, guys, keep it cool. Otherwise, you're gonna just bring out too much of the kind of strong, uh, stronger bitter notes because it's smaller leaves here. So just keep it cool. We're gonna brew it for about 20 seconds here, something like that. I don't have a filter with me, but this is how it is when you brew outdoors. So give this 20 seconds. We really want to like just brew it cool, but extract it for longer. I've done lots of videos about brewing. We're doing a masterclass series on brewing. So you might want to check that out if you're interested in the difference between temperature and time in terms of the taste of the tea. A few little stragglers in there, but that's okay. Here you go guys, look at that. First infusion, nice and rich, nice amber, slightly, um, slightly redder amber, but yeah, that orange wood resin look about it. Okay, I'm excited to taste this. Here we go. Cheers everybody, original Tongmu Lapsang. Texture light to medium, but I think it will thicken up a little bit with the next infusions. First infusion, it's just, just starting to express itself. So I'm getting that smoke, but it's a very fruity smoke. I'm getting spices, I'm getting um, mm, allspice, a little bit of a little bit of fenugreek, a little bit of a savory spice in there, but the predominance is sweetness. Apple skins. Dark toffee, burnt toffee. Yeah, I would say getting like apple, uh, apple skins, a bit of uh, the, the burnt fruit woods, dark toffee and a slight spice. The texture is medium um, and already I'm getting sweetness on the front and the sides of my tongue for sure. And a little catch at the back of my throat, spicy little catch at the back of my throat. And, and that is the smoking of the tea, but it's very, very gentle. It's a really nice physical sensation. You're getting sweet and smooth on the fronts and the sides of your tongue with a bit of juiciness, a little bit of saliva production, sweet saliva production, and then just right at the back of your throat, it's like a peppery kind of catching spice there. Have a little bit more of this, throw away those little straggling leaves. It's nice to brew outside, it's always one of the advantages, is you can make even more of a mess with your Gong Fu sessions. I'm up on my roof in case you don't, you didn't realize. I thought, you know, let me just quickly get outside onto the roof and, uh, and uh, have this smoked tea on a nice autumn sunny day. As you can see, the liquor is darker now. Second infusion, it's starting to open up. Definitely a richer, dark honey amber look to it and the taste right now that sweetness is coming through definitely dark toffee i'm getting those mashed bananas in there as well 
I'm getting that malty, caraby, chocolatey, milk chocolate though. Very, very, if Souchong liquor, for those of you who've had Souchong liquor, is very dark, bitter, dark, you know, rich chocolate, this is much lighter. And as I said, it's made by the same producer, but I'm getting that milk chocolate. Tropical fruit thrown in there, just there a little bit. I'm getting all spice. What is that tropical fruit? I'm saying banana, but it's a little bit, a little bit fruitier than banana. Mm. Maybe um, papaya, maybe like a mashed papaya, something like that. Mm. Delicious. One more cup. And let's have a little sniff of this Gongdao Bay. It's only been two infusions, but I expect with the sweetness that's going on in my mouth to at least smell something in this empty Gongdao Bay. Oh. oh my gosh, I smell a lot in this empty Gongdao Bay. Do yourself a favor, brew this Gong Fu style and smell this sweet, so sweet but it's a different kind of sweetness. I want to say dates again. Dates, dried cherries, but not, uh, not um, sour cherries, more like um, dark cherries, black cherries, like Morello cherries. I'm getting that casky, wooden, burnt, wooden note in there as well, like a bourbon, like a, a burnt uh, bourbon cask. Well, all bourbon casks are burnt, but you know, that, Slightly bourbony, casky, vanilla pods. There's some vanilla going on here. It is an incredible tea, amazing tea for desserts. I can imagine this pairing really well with a lot of desserts, especially given the strength of the taste in it. You could definitely pair it with a lot of different foods and just a predominance of sweetness in my mouth. So the finish is, as I said, sweet and juicy on the the sides of my tongue and a little bit on the front and then dry and then that little black peppery spicy catch at the back of the throat. We'll do one more infusion. Here we go. So we try to add about five seconds per infusion. I probably didn't do it for this one here, but try to add five seconds per infusion. Mm. There's just this really warming, comforting note to it. And as I said, I think it's something related to that campfire smell. There's something related to that that's very atavistic. It's very much bringing you back to your ancestry. It just it draws you in. And it really is not that acrid, strong, piney, harsh note that I have associated with smoked lapsangs for so many years. There you go, original Tongmu. I'm very happy that that farmer made this mistake. I'm very, very happy that this landed in my lap. And I hope that you guys out there get a chance to try it. So once again, if you want to win one of the 30 50 gram packs that we have reserved to give away, then email ilovetea at mayleaf.com, put lapsang as the subject, you don't need to write anything into the body of the email. Send it over to us by the 14th of October 2018 and we will be selecting some winners. I really am interested to see what you tea heads think about this tea. Look of the wet leaves, obviously lightened up. Getting that nice kind of chestnut red brown color. Very, very glossy, very, very high quality pickings. I would expect nothing less from this producer in Tong Mu village. So now a third Lapsang Sushong to add to our list. We've got little Tong Mu all about the fruits, Sushong liquor all about that dark chocolate and this, we're going to call it Longan Lapsang I think with that fruity dried fruits, dates, figs, Longan, you get that apple wood, you get that Longan wood, you get that charred bourbon cask, vanilla, sweet. Too many adjectives 
for this one here, this one you could get all lyrical. There's so many tasting notes. Please do share them so that we can read what you think of this tea. That's it, tea heads. If you made it to the end of this video, then make sure you hit it with a like. Follow us on all of our socials so that you don't miss out on any news and videos from Mayleaf HQ. If you're ever in London, then come visit us in Camden to say hi and taste our wares. If you have any questions, comments, or video ideas, then please fire them over. Other than that, I'm Don from Mayleaf. Thank you for being a part of the revelation of true tea. Stay away from those tea bags. Keep drinking the OG stuff and spread the word because nobody deserves bad tea. Bye.